Hi everyone, welcome to Netset OS. Today in this video we'll be discussing about wiggle sort. Before discussing wiggle sort, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, just subscribe it. So let's start. So what is wiggle? Wiggle is something to sort a array in waveform. Waveform as in when we have the first data to be larger, then smaller, then larger data, then smaller. It is creating a wave shape. So if I need to check whether this array is making wave or not, I can check by plotting it 6, then 13, then 8, then 11, 4, 12, 5, 14, 7. That means it is somehow creating a wave. So basically for waveform, we need to place the element in such a way that greater elements should be at one position. It can be odd or it can be even. If I am placing all greater elements at even index, then I am supposed to keep all smaller elements at odd index. Let's say if we have example A and I have to check whether it is creating wave or not. So for that, first of all, I need to sort the number of array and then I can swap adjacent elements in pair. Like here, if I take the first step, I need to sort it up. Sort it as in, I need to have 1, 2, then 4, then 5 and then 10. And then I can swap the adjacent pairs so that I can get 2 first, then 1, then 5, then 4 and then 10. Now if I plot this, first I have 2, then 1, then 5, then 4 and then 10. So it is making a wave. So basically wave is something where all odd index are greater than even index. So if I need to write the code for it, I can simply solve it by sorting it up. So here I am solving it for these numbers in the array. So first step I need to sort it up so that I will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 8. And the second step, I just need to swap i with i plus 1, that is in pairs. So if I swap it up, I will get 2, 1, 4, 3, 8, 5. Now if I plot it, I will get, so it is making a wave shape. Now this is all unique elements. Now let's see for duplicate elements where I have won three times. So as per this program, I'll sort it firstly. So here after sorting it up, I'll get one, one, one and then four, five, six. And afterwards, I need to swap in pairs, adjacent pairs. So here I'll get one, one, four, one and six, five. So whenever I will plot this, I will get 1, 1, then 4, then 1, then 6 and then 5. Here it is making a wave but here this is a plain one which is creating an error. It is not forming the wave. So this program fails over here. Now we will see how to solve this. So here comes wiggle sort where firstly we will take out median in an array and this median we will take the help of quick select. Here we will get partially sorted array because if I need to sort the array it will be taking order of n log n. Here with the help of quick select it is taking order of n. So the need of median why we actually need median? Let's say this is median in an array. So here 
all the elements before this median will be smaller than that and in the second half we will have all the larger elements so for this let's take the example the same example here when i apply quick select so as to calculate median our array will be changed to as like this where our median will be on this part now you can see when i was calculating median through quick select our array will be changed like this where all the elements before it are smaller than 4 and all elements larger than that are greater than 4 here it not actually sorts but it takes care the elements before it should be smaller and the elements after that should be greater than that now when we got our median i will take all the smaller elements first and will place in even slots that is in, in even index so when i have all the elements smaller than this median i'll place on all even slots and the larger elements i'll put on the odd index why we needed this because here we actually have all the smaller elements and here we have all the larger elements now so as to have waveform first we need to have all the smaller elements in either side either it can be an even index or it can be an odd index so when i fill here all the elements smaller than median respectively i'll keep all the odd index with larger elements so that we can have wave here let's understand this with an example so here this is our array in which we have to place the element in such order so that it can form the wave so here we can also find the duplicate elements 1 3 2 are twice over here so we'll start with step 1 to find median of an array so for median i'll be using quick select so as i have already made a video on quick select for detailed version you can follow my video i'll give the link in the description below so here let's take out the median for it so here i have an array over here with its index so for quick select i need to define the pivot element it can be any of the element in an array but here i'll be taking the partitioning by pivot on the last element so i'll take pivot as one and will compare this one with all elements so i'll take this j and will iterate in throughout the array and will check our current element with respect to our pivot element if it is smaller than then i will step ahead by one step and i and j will exchange their position and if the current element is greater than our pivot element then everything will remain same and j will iterate further so let us move ahead here the first element one a jth element with our pivot element so jth element is equal to our pivot element so i will move ahead and they will be exchanging their position here they are on same index so it will remain as it is now for the next iteration 3 is greater than 1 so it will remain as it is and j will move ahead now this time 2 is greater than 1 again so everything will be as it is and j will be iterating further now here also 2 is greater than 1 and 3 is also greater than 1 now at last i plus 1 will exchange their position with pi word so after exchanging with pi word here we got 1 and 3 but here we want quick select with mid value and the mid of the array is the length is 6 so 6 by 2 3 
here we are doing this because we want a midpoint as we have a boy over here who is at mid and if we see here closely all boys at the left are smaller than this median whereas the people standing at the right are all longer are greater than this median but it is not necessary people who are standing are in sorted order rather we just want a point to which the persons are standing in the left are smaller and the persons who are standing in the right should be greater than this median value since quick select return this now we will do the same process in the right to which the last element we will take it as pivot and will start comparing the first value with our pivot so when i perform the same process we will have quick select returning this 3 since our mid is 3 this is also not equal to mid so what i'll do i'll take the value before it and will perform quick select on this now here i'll take the last value as pivot and will start performing quick select on this part of array after performing quick select i'll get this 3 as returned value since this 3 is 4 but our mid is 3 this is not equal to our returned value so recursion will takes place a value before it and when i perform quick select on this part of array where pivot was 2 the last value and when i compare this first value 2 is equal to 2 so here we will get i and we will get this third index value as returned value of quick select now i'll compare mid is at third index and this time we got the returned value also from third index so i'll say the median is 2 so this will be our median median is equal to 2 with index 3 now the next step i'll take the separate array and will copy these values from a and as we know the median is at third index so what i'll do i'll take median minus 1 as small value denoted by s and at last value i'll take l now as we know till median we have all small values 1 1 2 these are just small values and from median onwards we have all larger values now what i'll do i'll take one value from the large and will plot over here and will shift this l to left side so that l will be on fourth index now i'll take one value from the small now i'll have two over here and will shift s to the left now i'll take one more value from the large which is 3 and will shift l to its left now i'll take one value from the small which is your one and will shift s to its left similarly i'll take one value from the large here we will have two and then i'll take the last value which is one over here so what i did i just sorted it out with the help of quick select and then i alternatively taken one value with large then small then large then small similarly it will happen for the rest of values and when i plot here we will get a wave although we have duplicate elements but it is managing it all now let us see the program for it so here we have function wiggle sort first of all i'll calculate mid and for medium i'll perform quick select where i'll take mid also so that it will keep on tracking whether the values returned by quick select is equal to mid or not as like this 
in quick select here it will keep on returning the value and will compare with mid if it is equal to mid then it will return the same value if it is less than then it will be going for recursion from left to one value less than it otherwise we will have one value larger than to the right hand side so from here we will get the mid value in the medium and then we will make a temporary array after that we will copy it and then we will take the small value at mid minus 1 and large value at the last of the array and here we will be filling by even and odd index that is alternatively for even index it will be taking values from the small and for odd it will be taking value from the larger values and here we will get our returning array as i have taken the same one 132231 as my input array when i run this i'll get this 231312 as my waveform so this is all about wiggle sort when we have duplicate values and we need to plot waves out of that duplicate values in the array so hope you understood this point where we perform this wiggle sort with the help of quick select here we can also do this by quick sort but quick sort is taking higher complexity than quick select so after that we got this array as our output array so let's find up over here if you understood this concept do like my video and please share with your friends and if you're watching for the first time don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you